The latest from Gaza. The IDF says ground forces continue to move through Rafah both above and below ground, claiming to have killed some 20 Hamas fighters in the last 24 hours. This while ground forces continue operations around Han Yunus, where they say rocket launch sites have been destroyed. Additional evacuation notices have been announced over the weekend for areas north of Gaza City and west of Han Yunus. And on Friday, the Israeli-designated humanitarian zone shrank. IDF Arabic spokesperson Avihai Andre stating the move came after Hamas, quote, exploited this area and that this part of the humanitarian zone is now dangerous. On Saturday, two IDF reservists were killed by a roadside bomb planted along the Nazarim corridor in the center of the Gaza Strip, bringing the total number of soldiers killed in the Gaza offensive to 332. And finally, the reemergence of the highly infectious polio disease disease has aid organizations scrambling to vaccinate the most vulnerable. This after a 10-month-old infant tested positive for the disease, the Hamas-controlled Ministry of Health announced, making this the first case reported in Gaza in 25 years and follows reports of the disease detected in the wastewater in six different locations back in July. We do not know what to do. We demand that they provide us with the simplest things, which is vaccination for our children. How will the children live? Aid organization Mercy Corps estimates some 50,000 babies have been born since the war began, with none reportedly receiving vaccinations against the disease. On Sunday, the Israeli Pediatric Association joined the World Health Organization in urging for an immediate vaccination campaign. It is difficult to see your child reaching this stage. It is as if we live in a primitive life. This vaccination is supposed to be available to all children.